It's hard to imagine that over time, millions upon millions of army personnel worldwide have strapped their boots and put their uniforms on to fight for their country. It's estimated that over 150 million Defence Force personnel lost their lives fighting for their country. I've gathered artists from all around the world and put together an army, a fluid art army at that, and have come together to help honour and pay respect to all fallen and injured soldiers and to send positive energy and cheer on our still serving personnel and pray for their safe arrival home. So come with us for a full week of art as we create our own version of a camouflage painting. This is Paul Rembrandt's Day, an artist collaboration. Attention! Forward! Watch! We're gonna pour some paint tonight! We're gonna, gonna pour some paint tonight! Pouring paint is out of sight! Pouring paint is out of sight! Some of us will use flow troll! Some of us will use flow troll! Others use Elmer's glue! Others use Elmer's glue! Sound off! One, two! I can hear you! Three, four! Bring it on home now! One, two, three, four! One, two! Welcome back to Art by Julie E. If you're just joining us, I'm Julie E. Welcome. I appreciate you being here. Um, for many of you, you may know that I am a military mom. Um, for those that you don't know, um, I have three boys that were or are military. Um, two were in the Air Force and one is still Navy. And uh, he just made um, chief, <laughs> so really proud of him. Um, my other two that were Air Force are out of the Air Force now. Um, one of them served multiple times in Afghanistan. So um, I'm going to go with a Air Force camouflage print on this one, and. Uh, you gotta bear with me, please. Um, this is a, a tough voiceover. It was hard to talk about while I was doing this. Um, yeah, I struggled with this one, man. It got in my head. Uh, I thought, oh, this is gonna be so great. This is awesome. I can pull this out. And then, yeah, I just, I started getting so filled with emotion while doing this and it just felt like nothing was coming out right so that's why we're kind of zooming through all of this really fast forward like um because yeah it's it's amazing what our soldiers do for us you know they, they don't kn know us personally but yet they're willing to defend us and you know they, they, they step in the gap to protect us and they're willing to make that ultimate sacrifice and you just you can't say thanks enough you can't if you've got family in the military you can't worry enough because <laughs> it's just gonna happen you know um, so yeah a bunch of emotions flooded back for me on this one and uh, Another problem that I had with getting this right was I did not have my reference photo down on the table with me. 
Um, here is the pattern of camouflage that I am striving for. And once I get through this, this was day one. Um, <laughs> after this, we, we took a nice evening break and chilled out, gathered ourselves and stuff and realized, yeah, this isn't even close. You'll, you'll notice it. It'll start looking like wood grain, green wood grain. It's, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm just right now using alcohol inks, trying to get my camouflage pattern down and it, it's, it's just not working. Um, jeez. So as we watch my struggles here on day one, I want to say a big thank you to Nathan Lenzel of the Fine Art of Distraction for uh, inviting me to participate in this wonderful collaboration to honor our military men and women and um, remember all they do for us and um, let you know that Mandy Roca of Hope Designs by Mandy Roca it was right before me and Shannon Baxman of Shanby Fluid Art will be directly after me but you can find their links in my description and there should be a playlist in there of everybody's uh, videos and you can just go to that and hit play all for each different day so um yeah, we're almost done with day one and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna nail it in my opinion i nailed it on day two and uh we'll go from there hey it's the next day um i like how it looks but not for the camouflage that I want to go for. I took another look at the reference photo that I was going from as far as my colors go, and it really doesn't match the camo as much. You see, there is the camo pattern that I'm hoping for. I got the colors, I just need more of the pattern. So that's what happens when you don't uh, <laughs> Keep your reference photo handy while you're doing your work, I guess. And then we're going to go in with um, some alcohol brushes. Well, they're watercolor brushes. I fill the tubes with um, alcohol instead of water. And um, we'll just go ahead and dab our alcohol on there and hopefully try and get it to a similar pattern as that.
Here it is, all finished. I hope I make the men and women that serve and have served proud with this one. It was a very emotional journey for me to go through. And um, yeah, it means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, <laughs> um, still feeling it, still feeling it. Um, to all those who served and ha are serving, Thank you so much for your courage, your strength, and your dedication to keeping us safe. Please check the description for the playlist for everyone, and I will see you all at Shan B's for the next video in line. Thank you all so much. Loves and hugs, y'all. Bye.